And welcome to the new season. First off of our season review, where we did win the uh, European South American Club Challenge. And we also did win Europa Super Cup. Um, let's move on to the next part of the season review that hurries up. Um, so we got our signings of the season. And it ends up going to Larson, who I would have said had a bit of an iffy start. But he probably did come good near the end of the season. And if he can improve on these numbers or do very similar numbers next season, I will be very, very happy indeed. Um, other than that, biggest disappointment. Let's have a try and look at it. Let me scroll down. Uh, probably it's the young striker. I think we didn't loan out. That was the one guy we kept. Um, yeah, but he is only 18. Can't have him too much. Who probably was my biggest letdown? Probably you, or maybe even you, um, just didn't perform uh, to the level I was expecting. Um, but yeah, overall not too bad. Transfer outs we don't need to worry about, and loan outs we don't really need to worry about. Overall we've been given a B because we were supposed to qualify to the Champions League and we finished third. Um, top goal scorer in the league with 26 goals, which was the joint top goal scorer. I definitely take that. We got a C plus in that. A B minus in that, which I can sort of understand. See, that should be an A because we beat Real Madrid. C plus, yeah, maybe a little bit, bit disappointing. That was really disappointing. I'm surprised that wouldn't be lower. But okay, overall a B. Um, and the little bit of iffy patch, mainly in the league, uh, was around here. Um, but other than that, not a bad season. Um, biggest win was the eight 0 win in the Champions League. Uh, match to remember was being uh, Girona 4 0. I think that's because that quali qualified us for the Champions League, I think. Um, and then a goal of the season was a. I think that was a free kick, was it? Yeah, free kick uh, from the main man. Overall, um, not changed on our reputation. Uh, moving us down is match day commercial, commercial and retail. Uh, that might be because we got to the champion of the Europa League final. So maybe that is a bit more com match day commercials and retail. I don't know. Uh, shirts is Lucas, Rodri, um, Figueroa, um, Mar Marano. Still can't hear And Sebastian there. But they are all up still, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, team of season um, uh, yeah probably that back four definitely those centre midfields yeah probably those full backs yeah it probably is I'd probably say yeah that is the team of the year a team that we probably have played the most games probably are the most consistent out of them um, yeah quite happy with that indeed um, I did win Manager of the Month in March, but that's all I did. I came second in Manager of the Year, which is quite cool to see. Um, overall, Fans Player of the Season is Lucas, and he still gets Young Player of the Season. Uh, Sign of the Season we know, Goal of the Season we know. Top goal scorer in total with 42 goals, uh, whereas uh, Mar Marano. Um, Lucas with the most assists. Um, most man of matches the striker again average rating Lucas and best passing it was Josh um, overall goals by a player in a season he broke, he's broke that record and man of the matches okay um, everything to look at is the under 21 player of the uh, player of the year Sebastian he's got the golden boy as well he's got the youngest player and the next gen was our right centre back and then the ever right centre back who came in near the end of the season it was also on that list as well as Sebastian I think was on that list. Does it let me show you the next. Can we click on the next gen now? But not bad at all. Um, good to see us do a sort of a double. And then our timeline as we go through. Still quite early on in our season, but there we go. All the clubs below there. Anything interesting happening? Anyone made it into 
the uh, overall best 11 the striker has now, which you can understand because he scored 83 goals in 107 appearances. That's pretty good. Anthony and the goalkeeper look like they've made it onto the bench um, as well, which is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, overall, not bad at all. Pretty decent team, isn't it? Looking at them. Uh, a little bit of where they are now. Season review, just done. Uh, never aware they are now. Overall, hardcore fans are going up, but Fairweather's gone up. And our followers have gone up. That might over help us overall. Club vision, here we go. So, they still want us to play attacking football, possession football. We need to work on the set pieces and that. Work within the budget, yep. So, they want us to be competitive in the Champions League and qualify for the Champions League and be recognised as best of the rest, which we did tick that box uh, last time. So for now, I will just accept that. Uh, we're very, very good there. Team meeting, I will do later. Uh, does it say where we're going away for our break? It didn't. Um, top goal scorer in the Bundesliga. Uh, team of the week and that so let's go to the meeting so here we go so let's discuss our we want to qualify for the Champions League which is just that one positive reaction um, promises what's this one Oh no, I don't want to make any promises. Uh, what's this one? I don't ever read these ones. Right, okay, it wasn't but the questions I was expecting, but it still worked. Anyway, that's that done. We've got, say, some transfers, already, a couple of transfers already lined up coming in. Uh, there's a few promises and contracts I need to have a little look at and to do. Um, but yeah, we'll see you at the transfers. Hello and welcome back. Um, so let's have a little look at our transfers so far this season. Um, we still got a bit of the transfer window open, of course, um, but games will be coming before that so I think we've seen um, most of these um, but if you didn't see them um, we signed uh, this Argentinian guy just in January um, I may have forgot to show him during the season um, we've re-signed Matteo um, for free um, well, it was just quite cool just to bring in experience so we have bought in Matteo uh, we bought in Ryan Kelly again. He was rated a little bit higher than it says he was there. Still got perfectionist, um, but I don't think he's going to quite make it. He came in for free, not a bad pickup for free because we might even be able to sell him. Uh, this guy, he's a bit older than we usually get, but he's six foot six, um, and I thought he would be a decent backup um, to uh, Anthony because um, he's experienced at twenty six. He's six foot six. Um, it's a little thing that lets him down. I would say it's probably his pace. Um, we then got a freebie from Real Madrid. Um, again, not a bad rated player. Twenty one. Um, person I I swear it was ambitious. It's changed to balanced. Interesting. But a guy who can play either a defensive midfielder or even centre back at six foot one. Not my usual height, but I have chose a few six foot one guys so far. Um, then we've picked up an amazing young uh, Swedish 18 year old, six foot two, determined personality. Looks like he's, I would say he's going to be a very good uh, DM uh, for us. Could do a little bit better on his pace, 
Um, is a, so his physicals could all be improved, but at 18, I think they probably will do. And his natural fitness being at 17, they're not likely to go down very fast. And of course, his decision, his determination, I think he eventually will be our right footed um, central midfielder. Uh, we then signed and ever again a couple of young players, young 18 year old um, striker slash attacker midfielder. Um, we signed a young uh, Spanish guy again, uh, wasn't a lot of money, looked very decent. Um, I think we may have loaned him out um, already. Uh, and then this is another guy that we've already got in, but we've loaned him out again. A very young um, Argentinian, uh, sort of a year footed, um, again attacking player more than a striker um, but looks pretty decent indeed um, and then the only other signing um, is actually class as this year's signing but this maybe scroll down to see if it has any of our sold players um, loan 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 no nothing important uh, we have uh, sold Marco the um, Oh, where's that not going? The Italian uh, attacking midfielder who was on loan last season um, just didn't break into the team. Um, and to be honest, we didn't look that very good when we did play him a couple of times. Um, so we've sold him on for quite a bit of profit, I think, actually. We've sold him on to go up to 15. Yeah, and we got him in for a free. Played well for the B team. I played him for us. Maybe we didn't. We just loaned him out straight away. Didn't have a very good loan. But we've made 12.5 million on him. Uh, we finally sold uh, Hamstall. Um, finally got rid of him after how many years? I probably sold him for a loss. Uh, yeah, we bought him for 21. We sold him for 17. But we have loaned him out for a million pounds there. So that sort of made. Say so that makes it 20 million. So a little bit of a loss because it only goes up to nearly 19. But we finally, finally got rid of him. He was just a pain in the ass. He was a pain in the ass when uh, I had him at Fulham because he moaned that I didn't play him enough. Then he moaned that I think I was there for a season where I didn't play him enough and then that he was said he was too good to be left out of the team when I left him out. So we then finally sold him for 21 to Lays, and then we never played for, for us because he was awful. Um, and we also saw, sold our young Italian, not young, our Italian centre back that we bought in again, I think on a free. Not sold him for lots of money, but it's still a bit of profit overall. And then this, going into this season, the only player we bought is a young Mexican left centre back. Originally, he was rated at full five star potential so i'm a little bit disappointed uh that he's now only four star but he's a good uh center back for us uh to compete in that position um other than that more selling sells, players being sold so junior's gone uh for eight million i think we purchased him for free uh, we only got him for 900 so it's eight million pounds seven million pounds profit made on him again burst onto the scene didn't really show it in those three games so we loaned him out where he didn't really show it either and now he has moved on uh we have sold one of the argentinian players who i think we bought in quite cheap again yeah even cheaper than any money free and we sold him for 15 million so a great profit there he actually had a really good season uh san lorenzo but i just didn't think i'd be able to fit him into the team I think we've got better players uh, than him. Um, and never one of the Bra uh, Brazilians, never one of the Argentinian players. I know this guy is the goalkeeper. I was surprised about this. He wanted to leave. He's not got great potential. Um, his personality is low self belief, so he might not even hit that potential. Um, and to sell him for 7 million to Porto, for why not? A couple more loans. David's gone. Just didn't do work for us. Uh, a little bit of a loss because we signed him for eight, sold him for seven and a half. So we could be losing it. I don't think it goes up to eight. It does go up to eight, so we could be making the same amount of money on him. He just didn't do it for us, did he? Yeah, 
so David's gone. Um, this is the one I wasn't too sure about because he did have a decent season for us. Oh, maybe not. Didn't get enough assists. Um, so to buy him for free and then sell him for 15 million, I thought was quite a good deal. Um, again, the left back onto the same club. Bought him for seven and a half. Sold him for 15. Not bad. Again, never really got to play for us because he was young when he came in. Had a decent loan spell with Tenerife. Tenerife, so I thought I'll play him. But I thought we've already got two amazing left backs. Um, we'll let him go, especially at 15 million. Uh, Kevin's left us to go uh, go as well. Um, again, not bought for a lot of money. Came in, it was really good. Then again, god awful. Loaned out, not the best. And now he's sold him on, and he looks like he's had a really good first game. But again, all profit. Could go up to 10 million pounds. Excellent. Couple more loonies. Uh, we've then sold Roberto. He kept whinging that he needs to be first team player. So we've made a little bit of a loss on him. Um, so he came, I was, he came in. I was happy to loan him out because I thought I'd give him a loan. He's still young, Spanish player. He's going to come back and be our, be our central mid, midfielder. Um, maybe with uh, Vera. But he just kept whinging about stuff. I can't remember what he was whinging about now. Um, so this one might be a bit of a loss. Um, especially if he does hit his potential of that. But again, a little bit of a loss on him. Um, but it's not too bad overall. And then we've loaned more players. And then also sold um, Jordan. Again, the English player we signed for nothing from Villa. Yep, again. We lo didn't really play him. Loaned him out. Didn't even do a very good loan, so I thought, we'll just sell you. We've got better players in your position, and it's all profit. So I can't complain there at all. So you'll probably go to Norwich and have a really good career, hopefully. But that's it so far. We are trying to get rid of a, a lot more players. Um, you may have seen some with the stars near the name of their players that we're trying to get rid of. Um, but yeah, so, so far we've made uh, nearly £90. Pounds, £90. Pounds, £90 million profit there and a decent amount of profit there as well so at the moment finances are looking really good um if it can if we can keep this this season and have a really good season again um we can definitely definitely maybe buy some real big players so that maybe they give us our final push next season if not maybe even in january if we still have this sort of money we are projected to be keeping the money so i can't see why not but what I do now is I will get into the first two games of the season um, and I'll see you at the start of them. Hey, hello and welcome back. Um, so we've just gone through transfers and now we're at the start of the season and our first game of the season is against Cadiz because we have got nothing special at the start of the season. No Super Cups, no whatever the other one is. Yeah, whatever the other Spanish Cups are. Um, we have done that. So friendly wise though, we've had decent friendlies again maybe against uh, some lower opposition a couple of big games maybe like Milan or Fiorentina um, and then we've had a bit a few disappointing draws in between there but a good rotation of teams players stuff like that for you um, a slight tweak to the tactic as well which I'll show you now so the difference is we've changed these to um, attacking wing backs now uh, we've actually brought in a ball-winning midfielder and a deep-line playmaker, and so the two uh, CDMs. Um, don't know if I've changed anything on here, but I will leave them up so you can see if they're any different. Um, and I'll quickly click through all these to show you all the differences that I've made in here. I think there's a, quite a few there. The striker, maybe not so much. Quite a few here. Quite a few on the wing-backs. I think these are very similar. Don't think there's much difference. Just maybe a couple of things taken off or a couple of things added in. Uh, and we've also gone for a sweeper keeper on attack. It seems to be working. Um, it's a little bit of a copy of some of my old ta uh, Frankfurt tactic from last year's game. 
But anyway, this is a team to start the season. I think this is probably maybe my strongest team. I'm not 100% sure in certain places, um, but I would say it's probably my strongest team so far. So let's get into the first game. I'm hoping for uh, an early win. Who have I not given a tag? I haven't given it to you. Who? So strikers 9, 31 you have to have. Because I forgot Mark Stevenson's got the other one. But I want to try you out, Alex, a few times. Maybe you'll rotate with Mark. Um, with, of course, the main man up front who came joint top goal scorer last season. And had a really good season before that. So I've not felt about replacing him. He scores goals. Maybe he's not consistent enough. And maybe we should have looked at replacing him. Um... But yeah, why is this taking a long time to load? Right, we're finally into this bit. So, have a little bit of team talk. Match preview. Everything is running a bit slow today. Not sure why. But, could it line up in a, exactly the same formation? A 5 2 2 1. Okay, don't know if I like that. Because, of course, that is our formation. I don't have seen anyone copy our formation before. And this season, so only one game played so far is Valencia winning 1-0 against uh, Levante. So there we go. Are they playing similar roles? It won't tell us yet this early, will it? Probably where we end up losing our first game after I said we played so well in the friendlies. <laughs> and it's looked better. It's looked more of a goal scoring tactic. Uh, once we've got going, which is what I wanted to do, I wanted to score a, bit, a few more goals than last year. Alright, get out there. Oh, close one. Good save. He saved it. Nice save, keeps. <laughs> Come on, boys, don't let Cadiz beat us. I know they're at home, but don't start off badly to the season like this, please. All right, take your time. Okay, nothing come from that. All right, they are playing very similar, very, very similar to some of our positions. All right, come on, guys. Dominate possession and get some goals. All right, Niklic finds Badov. Plays out to Larson. He's got a bit of space now. He does. Lovely dink. Cut it back. Rubio, who probably should have scored that. He had more time than he thought. I think he thought he had. And nothing comes from that corner. Okay, that's very good, isn't it? We were looking really decent with corners over the friendlies. Alright, we are dominate. We're not dominating possession, but we've got more possession. We're just not doing uh, particularly well otherwise. So I'm not happy with that. Get out there. Mm. Alright. Nothing so far, which is not great. Still nothing. Come on. It was non-stop highlights in the friendlies. What's going on all of a sudden? Right. No one's playing particularly absolutely awful. Um, do we bring Alex on? No, he's nervous. Let's leave the more experienced striker on. Shout some encouragement at him again. Come on, guys. Seriously. I know our goalkeeper's having a good game, but we should be winning this. Come on. Seriously, guys. Do something. Right, it's nice passing, but is anything going to come of it? And then goal. 
Is that seriously how we're going to win this game as an own goal? I'll take it. It's because it's going to be a win. It's a bit disappointing that it's that to end up being an own goal that we've scored. But all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Probably have deserved a goal. Well, he's not bad at free kicks. Not much from that. Oh, back out to him. Oh, he hit the post. He's got a second chance. Oh, he's still can't put it in. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I was just saying how good you were in the front of this and you, I'm thinking you're going to go, so you can stay as our main man and then you do stuff like that. The first one was unlucky that you hit the post, but you should be burying that second one. Wow. All right, well, we got away with that, but look how well we played. And we only won one nil, just because, again, as usual, FM bullshit. Their goalkeeper played really well, and two of their defenders played really well. But what they didn't realise is two of their other defenders played shit. But we still only scored one goal. Ah, right, trust Joe. A win's a win. Win is a win. Um. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I don't care if it upsets some, some people. Because as much as they played well, we still need to be scoring. As Barcelona have just won 7-0. Ouch, Tenerife. That is painful for you. You've just been promoted. I think you're going to be going straight back down. Right. Again, I think an easy game coming up next uh, against Zaragoza. Real Madrid did win 4-1 against Zaragoza. Um... So I think we can win that one as well. So I'll see you at the Zara Goffa game. Hello and welcome back um, to our second game, which is against Zara Goffa. Um, so a few changes to the team. Um, uh, Hoffman's actually yet to come in uh, to play on the left-hand side because uh, we've got a bit of an injury crisis to the left-hand side. That's why we've also got a 15-year-old on the bench. Because um, you're not left foot, are you? No, your left foot's terrible. Um, also, there was an injury to someone else on the bench, I think it was. Oh, my left back. Um, so, uh, we've had to bring um, Pablo in uh, the, on the bench. All right, so, we're at home this time. Um, again, I think this should be a victory for us today. Um, but we should have done that in the first game and we struggled to get a 1-0 win. Um, Gus Poyet still is our manager. Um, but we are lining up in our 5-2-2-1. Um, and we are then playing against a 4-3-3. They did lose 4-1 to Real Madrid, I think, in their first game. Um, and again, there's no point looking at the table because it's very early days. But it looks like Valencia have got to a good start winning both of their games. All right, Lucas from a nice corner and Nikolic. Who everyone uh, even uh, Neymar, my assistant manager, says to play uh, the other guy. But Nikolic seems to score goals from corners. Um got a better rating than last season. I know he played about half the games, but he still had a better rating. He had two goals and one assist, whereas the other guy only had, you know, he had zero and zero. He didn't have any goals and or any assists. Um, so I'm going to trust in Nikolic. And we did have a Nikolic in last year's game who was a beast as well. So maybe this is this is the same with this Nikolic, hopefully. All right, Hoffman picks up, finds Larson out on the left-hand side. He's trying to bomb past. It does get... Chance to get a corner in it, a corner in a whip in. He doesn't. Hoffman dinks it over. <sighs> Lucas probably should have put that away to put us two and nil up. But absolute control in the game. It looks like again, and nice pass from Hoffman. All right, Edmund. All right to Larson. Just can't beat his man, but he's still battled hard to keep it. Now he's got it. Can he get past him this time? 
Still can't. Okay. A nice bit of pressure here. Sebastian wins it. Lucas loses it. But Badoff should get that. Hoffman picks it up. Goes a through to uh, Larson. Who can whip a nice ball in. And we've we've conceded an error. We've got an own goal out of it. These low crosses seem to be working a treat at the moment for own goals. But our striker is there, ready to put it away if the defender doesn't get it. Oh, unlucky. Keeper knew nothing about that, did he? He's like, well, gone past him and then he's going down. But 2 0. Good, good, good. Alright, Larson, corner kicked. Back post, Anthony. They wanted us to be a bit better at set pieces uh, this season. So far, I say during the friendlies, we looked really good during set pieces. I just made tiny little tweaks in my set pieces. Um, and I would say so far, we have scored quite a few headers from corners, even in the friendlies. So it's good to see. I would say overall, the little tweaks seem to do it. It didn't look amazing in the first game, like I said, because we didn't score. It took an own goal to score. It's just I don't understand how we have so many shots. Four of them are only long shots. So you take the four out of the 15 shots. That's still 11 shots. We've only got six on target. So five of them are going well wide. But they're not long shots. Oh, he's injured. All right. As I just said about him, you have to come on. Um, I would say brilliantly. Keep going. Highlight for the second half. Larson has it. Does well. Finds Rubio. Find Larson again. Nice touch. Gets out from his feet. Oh, decent, not bad ball in. Oh, come on, Sebastian. Nice little bit of one-two there. Lovely little through ball there from um, Edmund. All right, so this is a short one this time. Man, nice ball to bat off. Oh, I thought he was going to squeeze that in near post. That would have been all three cent starting centre backs would have got a goal then. Might win that. Nice. And again, unlucky. Tried to header it down to um, Lucas, but he couldn't get it quite there. Oh, he stepped up. It's worked well though. The pressure has made a mistake. Hoffman, unlucky. You can see the little dinkage, but now you need to get back and out, mate. Was he offside? I don't think he was. Uh, we conceded. Down that right hand side where I made that change. Yeah. Alright, where was the mistake here then? Yeah, he's just playing him on side. What's he doing? Why is he just. He stood the wrong side of him, completely the wrong side of him. That's offside. They have not drawn those lines correctly. It's way in front of him. Oh, I love this game sometimes. He was so offside, wasn't he? Don't go 3 up, guys, and then just balls this up just because I've made one change to centre-back. To actually a player who's meant to be better. Don't... Don't you dare, game, let them get back into this for no reason. Nice. Edmund out wide. That's fine. Again, lovely. Out to Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian, poor touch. I need to get past him. A lovely driving ball in, though. Wins it. Lucas. Edmund. Lucas. Oh, it's the post. He hit the post a lot. We've already hit twice in this game. We've already hit the post twice in this game. We had like 21 shots though, so it, oh, it was amazing. How many shots we had? No one's really tiring, it is early in the season. So we're, we're let it carry on for another five, 10 minutes. And then maybe we can look at some change in. Good play there from Edmund. Larson nearly lost it, he still copped it. Nice little run, oh, unlucky. Good save from their keeper. All right, Lucas. 
with the ball back post. Oh, I couldn't quite get there. Edmund's picked it up. Oh, nice touch, Edmund. Unlucky. That's a good tackle. That was a nice little, like, whoop, get, trying to get past him there, wasn't it? My, um, technical name for that, the little whoop. Alright. 80th minute. Changes fitness wise, Sebastian. Come on, because he is tiring. Um, why no? There, uh, da -da 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 -da. no one else is really that tiring. Do we, have we got anyone to have debuts? We do, but they're center backs. Oh, you could have your debut. I guess it's quite nice to give you your home debut. Edmund's playing well, but why don't we give you your home debut? Who else is maybe due a debut? No one. Do we give the youngster a run out? Ten ish minutes left. Give the 15 year old a run out. No, maybe with five ish minutes left, we might do that. Maybe we'll let him have a little run out. Oh, there you go. Larson's tired anyway. So we haven't replaced, need to replace the left centre back. So we can bring you on instead. And I am going to take the risk and bring the young 15 year old on for a debut. Can't see it going too bad. There we go. Yeah. Didn't get many minutes. That's fine though. He's come on for his debut. 3 1 win. Technically 3 0 because he was offside. Their goalkeeper had a really good game. But we still were and managed to score three goals. Um, matches our XG, which is fine. Um, I'm not going to get too harsh on them about being complacent because we win that one this time more comfortable. We have gone top of the table. Um, who else around us so far? So, Catafe, San Sebastian, Barcelona and Real Madrid are the only teams that could go on joint points with us. Everyone else, like Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, Bilbao have, and Celta Vigo have already dropped points. And Villarreal as well. Nice. Cool. Two from two. Excellent. All right, a little bit more. Top of the table, he's out for eight days. Ah, oh, it's okay. He, he might not make it back, but makes his makes his debut. I know it was only a few minutes. Um, yeah, Edmund, isn't it? Had a really good game. Yeah, and even Hoffman playing in that position actually had a really good game, which is an uh, well, a bit of a surprise to be truthfully honest with you. But uh, that's the end of that. I forgot to have a look at the fixtures, didn't I? To see where we are going to come, maybe come back next. Might be Champions League fixtures coming in. Um, um, da -da -da -da. We do really just want to motor on quite a bit, really, don't we? Um, anything jumping out at me? Probably these two, maybe. Maybe even these two. Um, we have got Barcelona in the Super Cup, so maybe that one in Sevilla. It depends on what lands in here, because I know we have got the Champions League draw uh, to come as well. So, not sure quite yet what we'll have, but you will see it on the next uh, thumbnail. But as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you again soon. Yeah.